So do not be surprised my dear Muslim brothers when Mujahideen capture those kuffar and remove their heads. Indeed, it's a sign of Iman to love the Mujahideen and to love the believers. And when you see Kaaba being humiliated, you should be happy. Nahnu qawman a'azam Allah bil Islam. Umar al-Khattabi said, we are people. Allah dignified us with la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. And he humiliated those kuffar because they have shirk inside their hearts. So Islam... This is the first deception of Islam. Islam is not a religion of love. Islam is a religion of hatred. Muslims can be loving people because they're human beings created in the image of God and our God is a God of love. Islam is a religion of peace. We've all heard this. And that Islam comes from the word salam. Salam is like shalom, means peace. But in English there's a simple explanation. Pacification in English comes from the word peace. But pacification does not mean peace. Pacification, if you remember the good old days of the Vietnam War, this Viet Cong village or that Viet Cong village was pacified, usually meant immolated in napalm. Islam means the pacification of the infidel or the forced conversion or destruction of the infidel. Let's look at who the infidel is. The infidel is the Jew, the Christian, the Hindu, the Buddhist, the black, the jungle peoples. Anyone who's not a Muslim is an infidel. And by the way, many Muslims are infidels too because they're not good enough Muslims. So where do you draw the line? Islam preaches that there is the Dar al Salam, the house of Islam, the house of peace, and there's the Dar al Harb, the house of war, the house of the infidel. By definition, Islam teaches there cannot be peace on the face of the earth until the Dar al Salam conquers the Dar al Harb, meaning that there are no more people on the face of the earth other than Muslims. This is their bottom line. Now, this means if you got two billion Christians and Jews and one billion Hindus and two billion Buddhists, that's five billion human beings and one billion Muslims, it means one billion Muslims are going to have the victory over five billion non-Muslims. Meaning... We respect your faith. It's practiced freely by many millions of Americans and by millions more in countries that America counts as friends. His teachings are good and peaceful. They are terrorists, pure and simple. Islam is a peaceful and tolerant religion. And the acts of these people are wholly contrary to the teachings of the Quran. We're commanded to terrorize the disbelievers. And this is a religion, like We're I said. commanded to terrorize the in disbelievers. The Quran says very clearly in the Arabic language. language.